So let me just install this uh, MT5. Wow, even the installation is just fast. Then I'm going to click on finish. So here is how you can actually set up a Windows VPS server of which you can use to do anything. But in this case, since we are traders, we're going to be using this VPS to run Forex uh, expert advisors. So all you need to do is simply visit the link in the description, which is for voucher.com and okay, sign up. Okay, when you sign up using the link, you're going to receive $300 okay, as long as you deposit the $35 and to be able to okay to spin up in in server so remember what you need to do here is simply choose cloud compute then on cloud compute okay choose the intel high frequency because it is powered by 3 ghz so we need a power of uh, cpu okay that is going to uh, make sure that everything runs accordingly okay can as well use the high performance this one but for this for this one we're going to use the high frequency one then now remember the location really matters so you need to choose a location which is closer to the uh the broker's server so in this case we're using the roof so i think we're going to use okay united kingdom okay i'm not really sure where the derives uh servers are but i'm sure they need they have to be in uk somewhere there or we can actually choose uh germany okay but for now we'll keep it to london just here okay then now simply scroll down on the operating system we're going to choose windows so there's windows standard and windows core standard so what is the difference well even i i don't know the difference so let me just check it out on google okay so windows core is a minimal installation option for windows server operating system that has no graphical user interface and only includes components required to perform several roles and run applications mm, okay uh, okay i think we're not going to be using that a graphical interface because some of you might be beginners and you're not comfortable using the command line alone so we're going to use the standard version so i think i'm going to use the latest one which is the 2022 64 bit so i'm going to click on 2022 okay then they are saying it takes around 15 minutes so as you can see the monthly fee is going to be like 28 dollars a month okay so with one cpu 2 gb memory 2 tb bandwidth okay which includes a license of 14 dollars so this is good for your windows vps then i'm going to switch off the backups okay then i'm going to name it as windows then i'm going to click on deploy now <clears throat> okay so so as you can see the windows may still be finishing installing so this is the ip address of the windows vps the username and the password okay the storage is a 64 gb storage which is okay because i'm not going to be storing movies there okay and we're going to be connecting to this uh windows vps using remote desktop so what you need to do is simply click on this button over here then it's going to download a remote desktop uh connection file or you can simply use these details but when you download this is going to be faster okay so let me just try to refresh the page so to log into this windows vps what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to open this file okay then i'm going to click on connect so it's now asking for the password so let me just copy this password here okay i've copied it I'm going to remote desktop I'm going to paste the password and I'm going to click on OK. Okay, click on yes. Okay, so now this is the Windows 
uh, server the VPS so this is how it looks like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter into full screen okay so let me just enter into full screen by clicking here and I'm going to close this uh, server manager because we're not going to be using this server manager okay where is the close button okay it's here okay but the screen for the vps looks to be very big like it's not fitting the way it's supposed to fit on my screen so i don't know how we're going to do this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install metatrader on this vps so i'm going to use the default browser to download it okay then i'm simply going to type uh derive mt5 and then i'm going to download it Then I'm going to download for Windows by clicking on this button. So the download must have started. Okay, then I'm going to click on open file. I think I know how to work around this thing. I think I have an idea because I want to manage doing this. So I'm going to go to settings. Okay, then to settings, I'm going to click on display. Okay. Ah, so the display setting can't be changed from my remote session. Ah, this is bad. Okay, so that's the thing. I cannot change the display size. So I'll continue struggling just like this. So let me just install this uh, MT5. Wow, even the installation is just fast. Then I'm going to click on finish. So now let me just try to log into this account okay let me just copy okay so this is my demo account so i'm just go back to the remote desktop i'm going to paste it here i don't know if i remember the password i'm not sure I've managed to log in successfully. I'm going to delete this, this, and this. Then I'm going to enter to full screen. Then I'm going to make the chart uh, look a little bit better. Properties. okay this now looks better okay so now i've installed the metatrader on this windows so what i'm going to do is i'm also going to install the export advisor and see but before that there's something i need to show you okay so as you can see the ping over here is 10 milliseconds okay so let me open my metatrader which is on my laptop oh, on this computer and this computer which is offering the one i'm accessing right now physically it's in zambia in africa so i'm going to show you the ping and i'm going to see how bad it is so let me just open it okay so this is the metatrader on my laptop on the computer which i can physically access and as you can see the ping is 200 milliseconds okay so this is really bad but when i go to the server it's actually 10 milliseconds 
so this means that even the expert advisor is going to have a good chance at actually winning some trades because it's going to be faster because we're chosen something which is closer to the to the server so now i don't know how i'm going to transfer the expert advisor to the vps but i, I know a couple of ways so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and upload the file okay so what i'll do is i'm going to use a file sharing uh, platform like ufile.io okay and i'm going to upload the file to this website and copy the link and download from the server so i'm going to paste it here so it's now uploading So the uploading is done i'm going to copy the file url i'm going to go to the server i'm going to go into the browser and in the browser there i'm going to download this so i'm going to paste the link there So I'm going to choose free download. So the download is complete. So, <coughs> so I'm going to copy the folder into the downloads. Huh. okay then i'm simply going to double click on this then they'll be auto added then i'm going to go to the here and paste paste it to the chart click ok then let me add the expert advice as well okay I have added the expert advisor then i'll click on allow i'll go trading so this is step index by the way and the minimum lot size has to be 0 0.2 i guess so so i'm going to scroll down and look where it's written for risk so i'm going to choose constant load and put 0 0.2 and i'm going to click on okay i'm going to click on okay then what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to go into the journal and see if everything is working so customer indicator loaded loaded successfully so everything is loaded successfully so the expert is now let me click on algo trading let's see what's happening so automated trading is now enabled okay by the way one hour time frame is too much we're going to go to the one minute time frame then i'm going to stop the auto trading and restart it okay so automated trading is now enabled okay so now this is how you can actually run bots and it has entered a trade already which is a, a sale so as you can see it's working so let me just go back to the chart and look at this type of trade although the stop loss looks too big anyway it's the one minute time frame okay so this is a sale here
okay so yeah it's carrying through in 0 0.2 0 0.2 lows okay so yeah so this is how you can actually run or use any forex robot on a vps so there are a lot of advantages of using a vps because okay when you use a vps these robots they're going to work 24 7 for you okay you won't have to keep your laptop connected to power and connected to internet 24 7 and by having your vps in a server closer to the server of the forex broker okay it's going to be faster and there will be a slightly uh, different or uh, like you're going to experience some different results like to perform better and everything will just be good so if you learned something from this video give it a like for more videos like this go on and subscribe bye for now